Hey guys, welcome back to Judo Highlights. Day 3 is in the books, and it was probably the best day. Lots of throws in the finals, so we'll talk about the results first. And we'll start at plus 100s because there was this upset here by Song from Korea. Now Korea looking pretty good at heavyweight. Song and Kim doing pretty well. Song, he did get eliminated after taking out Tushashvili. Ended up going out to Endovitsky, who eventually went through and, and won the whole thing at plus 100s. Looks like a nice guy. You can see him helping up Song here. I've never heard of Endovitsky before, but I mean, Russia, they've got so many guys at plus 100s. It's absolutely insane. And here's the final contest from Endovitsky. A really nice Orso Bugatti. So he's definitely someone we've got to watch out for at plus 100s. He definitely seems a lot bigger than Bashayev and Tasuev. So we'll see how he does. For the bronze medals, it was two guys from the Netherlands. Spikers, we all know Spikers. And look at this Orchigari. Changed the angle of the Orchigari there. Really nice stuff. And then on the other side of the bracket, it was Snipe. Snipe took out Spikers in the quarterfinals. So maybe in the Netherlands, they've got some good heavyweights of their own. In the Netherlands, Russia, Korea. It's looking really good at heavyweight right now. We'll go back down to under 90s now because I want to show you guys this Uchimata from Toth. I mean, he's a short guy, but he does really well to kind of put a lot of pressure on the head and then rotate with the body. Look at this. This is great stuff by him. But Toth came up short in the final. Ended up getting thrown here by Fatih from Azerbaijan. Also one of the bronze medals. Talibo from Azerbaijan as well. Took one of those. But I gotta say, this score, I kind of like this score for Vantian. Vantian, this is his technique. He knows this technique very well. And I think he got a good counter there. And then it was Ivanov on the other side of the bracket. Now, at under 90s, there was Kalmazayev and this guy, Kusan Kalmazayev. Now, we all know Kalmazayev at under 81s, Olympic champion. I guess this is his brother, but they look like twins and they're the same age. Anyway, check out this Uchimata, just like his brother. Brilliant, brilliant Uchimata. Next up, under 100s, and we'll start with the bronze medal contest. So, Bilalov, he went through the ripper charge. Nice bit of Nawaza here. And ended up taking a bronze medal. This contest, not the bronze medal contest as you can probably tell by the lighting. That contest was Bilalov and Matiev, two Russians in the bronze medal contest but ended by Shiro. On the other end of the bracket we had Coral. Nice Seirunage here. He's got a really interesting Seirunage. It's not the fastest, it's not the most explosive. But he manages to get people on their backs and get a score. Next up is Kakzera from Poland. He took a silver medal getting all the way to the finals and ended up facing Salomonidze. Salomonidze, I mean, he's got to be the number one favorite to win the Paris Olympics at under 100s. He's just unstoppable. At under 78, two Ukrainian ladies took a medal each. First we had Kurchenko, she took a silver medal. And then Light Venenko. Light Venenko, I mean, I think she's going to be a problem at under 78. She's really big, she's very young, still developing all of her techniques. And then in the final, it was Steenhus with this lovely piece of Ashiwaza. You'd love to see this in a final, an Epon secured like this, incredible. And then the other bronze medal went to Oleg from Germany. This is kind of a weird Uchimata, not the, not the prettiest Uchimata I've seen. This is pretty crazy at plus 78. So Milika gets a score with the Seonage, goes down to the ground, and this is against Tavano from Italy. And then Tavano reverses the Newaza. But have a look at the timer in the background. You can see it counting down just 10 seconds from what was already to get Epon. And so the time ticks over to Epon. But, I mean, she did roll her over before it kind of showed Ippon, so they had to cancel that. And so Tavano, it was a close one, ends up getting through this contest and into the final against Dicko from France. Now that contest ending by Shidos, so Dicko takes gold. And then in the bronze medal contest, we had Star Siva from Russia. She took one of the bronze medals as well as Camps from the Netherlands. Stay tuned, guys. Top Ippon's coming soon. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.